Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture, April 26th of 2023. Well, it is titled the moon through the Arc de Triomphe. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the moon and we see it as it aligns underneath the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. So what do we see? How do we get an image like this? Well, this requires careful planning unless you are extremely lucky to happen to be at the right position. Because of the size, because the sizes will change, the tri arc will look larger or smaller depending on how far you are away from it. So you have to plan the right distance in order to get the moon to fit right under there and not to be too big or too small. So you have to have the right distance. You also have to have the right timing as to exactly when that will work as to when this will be exactly in that location. So the moon rises and sets at slightly different angles all the time. So you have to really have this planned out from exactly where you're going to be to the exact timing that you want to be. And even if you get all of that, you need the sky to be clear. So you can have everything all ready and be in the right spot. But if it's a cloudy day, you aren't going to be able to get your image. So here you do get a chance to see uh, that beautiful image of the moon aligned perfectly underneath the Arc de Triomphe. Now when we look at the moon itself, we see some of the features that we associate with the moon. We see that there are some areas that are darker colored and some that are lighter. The darker colored called the Maria or seas on the moon are actually areas of lava that existed billions of years ago. They were large impact basins that were flooded by lava for three and a half or so billion years ago which was about the last time the moon was actually active in any way geologically like that in terms of having lava flow. The lighter colored areas are the highlands and those are regions that are more heavily cratered and while you won't see craters in an image like this, you will see that there is, uh, you will know that there are a lot of craters there if you look at more detailed images of the moon. So two very distinct regions, one with very few craters being younger one with a lot of craters being older. And that is how one way we can determine relative ages within the solar system. The more craters we see on a surface, the longer that surface has been exposed to be hit by objects. So the more the cleaner a surface is, the less craters, the more recently resurfaced it has been. So something like our Earth, which only has a couple hundred craters on it, is a relatively young surface. Something like the moon with lots and lots of craters like this one is a very, very old surface. And we can use that relative age process to look at other objects and compare other objects within our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for April 26th of 2023. It was titled The Moon Through the Arc de Triomphe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Mars flattened. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.